guys, it's your boy Car Pairs, and I'm back! <laughs> oh, this has been a shit hit lot over a long time. I'm back. Hey, we're gonna talk about where I've been, what happened while I was gone, because a lot happened. But, first of all, I want to wish you all 2017 finally the horrible year that it was 2016. And even from a Liverpool stand fan standpoint, I can't in good conscience tell you that 2016 was a good year just because the 96 got the or justice. That doesn't even touch what has happened. What happened toward the end of 2016 and in 2016 as a whole? So, yeah. But first, I want to welcome you to my new career. For it's a new year, and it's a new career. By the way, that's probably going to be the title of the Somebody to head them away, and here we are with the new signing. Yeah, he's a player that uh, you're probably hey, wondering who the hell are M. Car or Perm? Well, they are a Russian side. I wanted to have a little more challenge this time around, so when it was randomly decided from a bunch of countries. He's with their leagues in the game. In FIFA. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was randomly chosen that I would go to Russia. So I said, you know what? That instead of picking, you know, from, you know, the best teams in the league, I could end up with someone like Zenit. I said, you know what? I'll put every team in, in contention. And... Randomly, it was chosen that I would take over and call her her. I'm still getting used to how to say the team's name. I don't know a lot about the team just yet. I do know that they have existed according to their badge since 1994, which makes the club a year older than me. Roughly, which is odd. Normally, you'd, I'd be dealing with clubs a lot older, but yeah. Apparently, this club is only 22 years in existence. 23. In 23. Career more to first start in 2016, so. 22. And I don't know what date they were exactly for. So. The free kick taker going for goal. Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right So, yeah. With that out of the way, let's talk about where I am. Now, I. You know, I haven't uploaded it in a while. I did actually didn't upload for the last few days in 2016. Um, I was on holiday. I was away on holiday for a week. Week from the 22nd to the 29th. And you're probably saying to yourself, hang on, you were back on the 29th, but, you know, today's the first. You, you missed three days, technically. And I did, and I was like, I was sitting there thinking, all right, I'll start the current modes today. He again to um, um, get back to his usual procedure. I just said, uh, I just for some reason I didn't feel like it. And 2016 was so draining. I was like. 
I said to myself, tomorrow. So, the 29th and it's, I said, I woke up on the 30th and I, I didn't, I'm not going to lie, I didn't feel like I came out of bed. It was just a nice, lazy, Friday morning. And it was really my first morning back in my own bed. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I didn't have the best holiday. They could have been level. I think the occasion got to him there. All he needed was a cool head, but couldn't supply it. So, uh. It was actually refreshing to just lie in bed. I was playing PlayStation, but I, this is like the first time I've touched FIFA since. Like, I have done almost nothing on FIFA since I've been back. I did, you know, the school, a few squad build challenges on Ultimate Team. And I played one, uh, I had to play the uh, last preseason match. I guess more than I had done them all, but, you know, in a way, it was good that I hadn't done them all. So, uh, I could, uh, get back into the rhythm, you know. Well, this is and, uh, oh, me relearn what I'm dealing with in terms of players. Obviously, I'm not dealing with, uh, Superstar players in 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 this team. I have uh, made a few adjustments to in which I'll uh, go over in the duration of Karma. A chance for his second goal of the match. Hey, yeah. Determined not to be beaten a second time. Yeah, I think he was disappointed. Now, twenty. E16 finally ended, but oh boy did it, nah, it went out with a fucking bang. Now, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm the biggest Star Wars fan, I'm a casual Star Wars fan to be honest. I, like, if the movies are on, I'll watch them, well, Gonna specify here if the if a new hope who return to the I am wait server no it's attack the jet no no two is attack of the I'm getting confused <laughs> oh confused. Basically, what I'm telling you is I like episodes 4, 5, 6, X, and I'm not gonna lie, I can. I really enjoy it. 7. 1, 2, and 3 are a big. are 3 power wanking shit. And, uh. Very good passing for this too. I wouldn't watch them. They should have been leveled. Even if there was nothing else on, I would just like, nope. <laughs> but, um, change his feet. So yeah, I'm I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I'm a, I'm a casual fan. If that's the right term. I don't know. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is, of course, unless you were living under our 2016 proof rock. Oh wow, that was a good shot. That's, you would have noticed that uh, a few days ago, Carrie Fisher, who of course played Leia, passed away. And then, pretty much the next day, her mother died as well. Oh, which, you know, I don't know the family, but damn. I. I, I hope their friend and the yeah, other members of the family they just you know they just enjoy their time together. Or I was like 
you know, there's gonna be no one left in that family by the end of 2016. But luckily, there was. It's 2016. Mm. Mm. Actually, after that. And the cross coming in. That, that there wasn't any more celebrity deaths that at least that I'd heard of. I mean. Good reading of the play by the on the the on the 28th when we were leaving uh, my brother or saying that he had read that there was that they were unconfirmed reports of another celebrity he definitely my dad had freaking because she missed the uh, Christmas mass over in England thought it was the Queen mm -hmm. uh, Turned out not to be the case. Uh, someone did die, but she's not technically a celebrity. She's the mother of a celebrity. Um, the mother of Irish, the Irish dancer Michael Flatley. His mother died. Yeah. So that's who appears, and nothing else came out. So either it was complete bullshit, or they just got confused. It was. Listen, what I think happened was someone <laughs> got wind that flatly was dead. You can't see me doing my air quotes. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's a tactical change. Uh, someone probably just got wind that and said, "Oh, this is gonna be a big. I'm gonna get m mad credit for for breaking this." It's is but no, oh, it wasn't the singer. I mean, the dancer. Or it wasn't him. It was um, his mother. Her. So I, confusion might be the only reason that was an issue. You know that there was uh, reports of possibly. That there was another celebrity death. Like I said, I don't watch news, so. And I haven't heard anything, so if someone did pass away, I didn't hear about it. I don't mean that to sound like I don't care, I just didn't hear anything. So. Maybe 2016 did have another victim, but I think uh, Debbie Reynolds was the last one. Seems like it, anyway. Um. Yeah, twenty sixteen sucked. I mean, regardless of what genre of entertainment you enjoy. It was a shit fest. I mean, there were singers who died, like George Michael, old David Bowie, he Prince, uh, actors like Carrie Fisher and Gene, and, um, we, when, Winner, Winner, Winner. He, I, I, I always get his name. Him. Mixed up with someone else's. Basically, you know, the, the guy who played, um, Willy Wonka in the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He, not the, uh, Giant Depp one. <laughs> that's, that's the dude who passed away. There are. Countless, uh, there's, there's, it was just, it was a mess. It was horrible. It was just, it was a bad, had a bad year. And thankfully, we can say he, it's in the history books, and we will leave it to fucking history. So. Thanks for uh thanks for the worst one of the worst years ever.
2016. Hmm. We don't appreciate it. So, yeah. With all that being said, thankfully it's now 2017. Hopefully this will be a better year. Her overall. The fact that strength team is let's see four thirty about four hours old. Wait, is that right? No, that's not right. Um twelve or four. Sixteen hours old. Sixteen and a half hours old. And I haven't heard anything. You know, again, I don't watch news. Oh, was my goalkeeper didn't accept his contract. I haven't heard anything, so I'm just going to All we can do is all hope that 2017 will be far and away better than 2016. There will be much more positives than there was his negatives. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Four goals in these last three games. Or that there will be. Stats. Uh, back in front of their own supporters today, Martin, after that opening day. I don't know. This with a chance to go into the lead. Oh. oh, I thought I was going to get a nice early goal against Moscow. Well worth another look. Well, he had no time at all to react. We have to figure out how to... We have to figure out what the issue with my uh, goalkeeper's contract. Very well into a quite a dangerous position. After the, uh, after the video. In with a chance. Fine save he's made there. If he's gonna cause issues, I can easily get a new keeper. Or if he's not exactly high rated, I can easily get someone better. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh great. Alright, and it's number seven again. Three for three. He, he has scored all three goals in the first game and the first 11 minutes of this game. Anton Schinder. I probably... He butchered his name. Because, of course, I did. Shinder. That's what it looks like, it says it. <laughs> There's probably, probably something about his name. Maybe there's a silent one. Those letters are silent. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea who this guy is. So, uh, that bodes well. <laughs> As always, uh, Handy is uh, not having any idea who you were uh, using. Challenges for the ball. A few uh, players I've brought in from other clubs. I brought in uh, a young Cam from Spurs on loan, Josh Onuma. Oh my uh, and, and he's a Spurs fan. He says Onuma has a lot of potential in the future, and Spurs have high hopes for him. I'm like, I'll try him out in FIFA, see how he is on that game. Well, he scored. It's a big moment for them in the match. They pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point. Hey, someone other than Shinder for scored. It's an knee. A knee. Again, probably butchering his name as well. They've had more shots, now they've got a goal. Yeah. A knee. 
I don't know. But hey, something other than. But, uh, still waiting for the first goal from someone other than a striker, because he's a striker as well. Now, Onoma. Good forward play from them. Here's Josh Onoma. Crisp defending there. He can go back to the goalkeeper here and does. Yes. Oh. On to the attack now. Easy work for the keeper here. Oh, Little piece of interplay between the two. So for a through. Take that. And I managed to get the right avatar this time. I didn't fuck it up. was well kept under that sort of pressure despite not a very convincing first touch moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here and the cross comes in now free kick given by the referee and the yellow card for uh well that's a yellow card yeah I don't think there's any choice there from the referee out with a punch to clear the danger. Who's so oh, Sorry. You know what's funny? He he was a well. Oh oh, like choice for a young centre of defence. There were high potential. When uh, FIFA, yeah, previous FIFA, since I, this is the first time I've used him since since then. I didn't use him at all last FIFA, and I no, I did look at him a few times. I was like, for some reason I just didn't go for him as an option. But when I saw what I would be working with. With this team, I said, you know what? He'd be a good fit for this team. He, he'd, uh, he'd get the game time, and think he'll be a solid choice. As uh, Anoma scores the first goal of the season, scored by a non striker. I think that's the first goal he scored. Heard as well. Oh. Because well, I don't think he scored in the uh, preseason. I'm trying to remember if he did. He definitely didn't score in the final. That's for sure. It's going to be his throw here. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. A good idea with the I also brought him in from uh Bruce Dortmund. I was actually surprised that I got him. I I offered to take him on loan from uh Bruce Dortmund because I was like they have some decent term mids, especially with the uh rear he uh acquaintance of Mario transfers as we hear about Gomez. What a lovely death finish that was. Sorry, Gotze. Cool. They are playing well. Their superiority increased. I was thinking no. Uh, that's why I paused. I was pausing like, is it Gomez or is it Gotze? For some reason, I went with Gomez. Oh, no, it's not Gomez. God damn it. <laughs> Make a change. Well, free kick here in the scoring position. There's no doubt about it. 
Lovely. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Uh, yeah. Marino. And uh, that's how it's pronounced because that's what the commentator said. So I'm going to. So, if there's any issue, blame Martin Tyler. That's, that's, that's who I'm gonna, gonna put the uh, point finger at. You know, don't blame me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. That's uh, that's what he said. Again, this, these are the idiots who pronounce Ken as Chen for some fucking reason. Twenty minutes of the ninety still to play. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And in goes the cross. More in the Some other players I'm gonna talk about. Oops, here's uh, another one. This is, uh, not sure how to pronounce this guy's name quite yet. And, uh, he's a young sermon from who I signed from um, uh, Inter Milan. He's 70 rated when you get him. If you're looking for. Okay. That's a minute. And, uh, 19 years old, also, and according to the game, he's got a good, he's got potential, he's got, he came up showing great potential, so. Good work by the goalkeeper. Take that as you will. Oh. And, um, my, when I show, when I talk. Well, me and my friend were discussing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he's a head to do his ivory coat. He's from the ivory coast. He's probably. He, if he ever becomes. A, starts showing uh, promising performances in real life, he's probably going to get uh, dubbed the next Yaya Torre. <laughs> Which, uh. Made me chuckle. Well, to be honest, I don't know why. He has absolutely. He's no. The only e similarities between him and Ayatore are the fact that they're both, both central midfielders from the Ivory Coast. I mean. So? Oh, that makes no over. Three minutes to be added on. It doesn't mean anything. Well, you have to have the uh, the pain to get the gain, and they've. Seen and well, you're so probably saying to yourself, okay. Today, well, they've seen their team play well out there. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. He's actually you can actually buy him in the first season really cheap. I got him for 2.5 million, if I remember correctly. With the, uh... It was, uh, one of two purchases I made in the, uh, Syria during the transfer window. There's another, Emerson. I signed him from Roma. Also, I think, for 2.5 million. One of those might be higher, I'm not sure. I'm I guess I'm gonna just quickly check before I end the video. Oh, just so you guys know what you're dealing with. If indeed you decide these guys are what you're looking for. So here's my signings. Buscat. Lee. Me. Me. I signed uh, Kim. 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 Kim.
He from uh, on loan from PSG. So, oh, nice, oh. interest. Oh, two million. It was two million. I signed Emerson for. Even cheaper again. So you know, if you're looking for a left back, you know, twenty two. Mm, may, maybe come back to me later in the season. Oh, they're both two million, so I didn't even spend five million. I only spent four. <laughs> there's uh, there's the uh, stats. Ivory Coast. Coast. He's five old. Seven, nineteen years old. 70 rick and it, it, that's now that's euros so it's gonna be diff a little bit different in other her currencies um don't come complaining about any of that shit uh I also brought mm, my main man from Liverpool to ex Alexander Arnold because I needed a right back I like just the you know, get the numbers. This is the uh, defensive player that you guys saw saw me sign just a few minutes ago. No, oh, well, offer a contract too. Oh. Yeah, he accepted it, which is a uh, good, 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 good. So, oh, I will leave that there, shall I? He, he, decent return. Hmm. Hmm. After two games, I'm top of the table because, well. What do you expect? Normal, or caramel blowing schedule or a turn. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the rest of your New Year's Day. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.